Honorable religious leaders, members of the press, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, all other protocol duly and respectfully observed. I am Second Lieutenant Babu Karjayu, the Master of Ceremonies for the fourth swearing in ceremony of His Excellency the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Sir Professor Alahaji Dr. Yahya A. J.J. Jame. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I also want to recognize the President, the former President of the Republic of the Gambia, Sadawda Karaba Jawara. And also the speakers of the Algerian National Assembly and Foreign Minister of Gabon. And the Foreign Minister of the Republic of China and Taiwan. In the same vein, Your Excellencies, I would also like to acknowledge the presence of the former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Olusegun Nobasanjo. <laughs> Your Excellency, esteemed visiting heads of states here present, Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the National Organizing Committee, I have the honor and privilege to welcome you all at the Independence Stadium here in Bacau. We are gathered here today to honor and witness yet another milestone event in the historical annals of our country, the Gambia. Today marks the fourth consecutive swearing-in ceremony since the advent of the Second Republic under the dynamic and unique leadership of His Excellency the President-elect of the Republic of the Gambia and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, retired Colonel Sir Professor Al-Haji Dr. Yahya A. J. J. Jambi. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is worth mentioning that this day was born out of a populous momentum with which the Gambian people have responded on 24th November presidential polls, registering more than 70% of total votes cast for the incumbent. This landslide victory has constitutionally endorsed the fourth mandate for His Excellency the President-elect for another five-year term in office. The Gambian people have clearly and freely shown that they still love you, Your Excellency, that they proudly and happily identify with your unique style of leadership, constant quest for development, and positive change, which is evident in all the different sectors of the economy. Gambians are confident, not only in the glory of what they have been able to achieve together as a nation, but also in the hope 
that they can achieve even better with renewed commitments, patriotism, and honesty in the coming years, especially with the launching of the program for accelerated growth and employment, the page. There is every frantic effort on the part of the leadership of this great nation to make the Gambia a gentle giant and one of the best countries in the world. Gambians believe that you are the one with the right chemistry to move this country forward. They also believe that with your Royal Excellency, peace abounds and progress is certain. Your Excellency, esteemed visiting heads of states, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, these and several other reasons are what describe the collective active participation of Gambians in ensuring and guaranteeing continuity. A clear indication that Gambians do not want to miss for a second the warmth of your visionary and life-changing leadership. Your Excellency, I would also like to take this opportunity with your kind permission to announce the gathering that the seventh edition of the Ahua magazine is already on sale at 100 Talasis. On this note, I now have the honor to invite His Lordship the Chief Justice to administer the oath. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies. Uh, I'm, I also wish to recognize the presence of His Excellency's mother, the mother of all Gambians nation, Aja Asombi Fatu Boya. To this end, I now have the honor and privilege to invite His Lordship the Chief Justice to administer the oath. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies, for your kind attention. Well, that was the master of ceremony, Jaju, as you can see. He's done a fantastic job, giving us the preamble to the day's proceedings. And right now, from what our cameras will show, we will be delving right into the swearing in ceremony proper. We, I said earlier on that this is a constitutional requirement, and of course contained in section 63, subsection 1 of the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, which says that the President shall take the prescribed oath which will be administered by, of course, no other person than the Chief Justice of the Republic of the Gambia, Justice Emmanuel Ajim. Here we are with a Miss Holder as he leads the cortege of eminent people from the judiciary. It's going to be a solemn exercise now. They will ascend the podium and uh, the president-elect, still president-elect, by the way, Your Excellencies, will repeat... Distinguished invited guests. Exactly what the gentlemen. Chief Justice says. It is what now time work. for us to witness the performance of the traditional dollar ceremony We, which is called Kalaken Ayo. We, this implies installing a leader. Right, Laput, I must say, right, Laput. Right, Laput. In the old days, in the old days, when we had the Jola kingdoms, the ceremony was to install a king. But in modern days, where democracy prevails, we have a president. So the, 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 this ceremony is in accordance with tradition to install